my research studies tailing ponds. But let's start by saying, what's a tailing pond? Well, in Alberta, to extract that thick, heavy oil we have, we use a lot of water. But that also produces a lot of wastewater. And what do we do with all this water? Well, government regulations prevent us from discharging this wastewater in rivers and ponds. So we discharge it in what we call a tailing pond. This water is very toxic. It's full of chemicals. You don't want to know what's in this water. No one even wants you to know what's in this water. It has been observed that communities surrounding the tailing ponds are experiencing an elevated rate of cancer, as documented by the Alberta Cancer Board. This is possibly attributed to the leakage of these tailing ponds to the surrounding communities. These pollutants in the tailing ponds are usually suspended in the water, which makes it very difficult for the existing technologies to remove them. And that's why I'm introducing nanoparticle technologies. Tailing ponds have been increasing day after day. Today we have about 176 kilometers square of tailing ponds. This is actually bigger than the city of Vancouver. So what does, how can nanoparticle technology help us? Let's start by saying what are nanoparticles? Nanoparticles are tiny little spheres. They are one billionth of a meter. A nanoparticle to me compares to my size to Earth. But I'm not just using it as a fist. I'm using it as a full hand with fingers that can grab these pollutants from the water. What you see on the screen here is a nanoparticle that has been prepared in our labs. It is not just a nanoparticle like the normal ones, but it's a very environmentally friendly, naturally occurring nanoparticle. To give you an idea about the material used, it is often used to administer medications in humans. Imagine, imagine something that's safe enough to use in humans, how environmentally friendly it would be for our environment. Nanoparticle technology is an emerging area of science. It's really becoming the new frontier for its many proved advantages. Can you imagine Alberta with no tailing ponds? This is possible. My proposed solution, which is an easy to implement solution that can easily be integrated with the existing ones, can actually give us that. This is the Alberta we're all striving for. An Alberta with a reclaimed land that has no more pollutants. Thank you.